welcome to sociology my name's Kerry and this is my channel um, I'm just jumping on quickly to say a follow-up from my last video I went to spotlight I uh, actually went to meet a friend in the cafe that's my excuse and I uh, couldn't not go in so I'm in the car I've just been there right now and I tell you there's so much Christmas stuff out there um, I'll put the little videos on at the end of all the Christmas fabrics that you can buy at Spotlight Australia. Yeah, there is so much to choose from. Um, I'm glad I'm not a Christmas crafter, otherwise I'd be lost. You'd spend so much money actually, but then again, if you make the money, it's worth it, I guess. So on to what I found. So remember I was looking for fabric for the dress. Remember this pattern, the stretchy fabric, it was only um, I think it was $8 a meter. Amazing. Anyway, I think it was $8 a meter. And it's really hard to get out in the car, but I'll just hold it up. I'll put a still. I'll put a still up. Here it is. So, if you can tell, and I will put it up um, better on the screen, it's got like, um, it's like a crane or something flying, and it's got these gorgeous greens and blues you can just see the crane you can just see the crane there it's quite wide and it is designed by Vanessa Holiday and it is a stretch jersey it's got a two-way it's got a two-way stretch which I prefer great for this so if I don't have enough for this I'll definitely make some tops out of it for summer but it, I just thought it was really nice there was so much to choose from I, I picked up lots of fabric and I was like do you really need that are you actually going to make anything out of that do you have a pattern ready for that no you don't put it back even though it was like four dollars a meter but then there were some really cute designs, but they were quite wishy-washy backgrounds. And I'm thinking, I like really bright backgrounds. I know I'm wearing black today, but I like white backgrounds. So anyway, I um, went for this. The next thing I bought, which was $4 a meter, $4 a meter, um, microfiber. A few years ago, pre-COVID, I was looking for just plain microfiber fabric because I wanted to do some retro um, swimwear and I want to print my own designs um, because I have a sublimation printer at school but um, couldn't find plain white microfiber fabric anywhere so I got really excited when I found this it's not plain it's actually printed but even so it's um, my daughter's obsessed with palm trees and tropical things at the moment so I found this fabric it's got a parrot on it it's got little flowers on it it's got these nice mon mon sorry it's got these little monstera leaves are that what you call them some ferns and it's just beautiful beautiful colors on a black background and I thought I could make her some board shorts for summer because I say summer is coming up soon and I was thinking first I thought should I make myself some and then I thought do you really want to draw attention to that area when you're swimming when you're on the beach but then i thought oh i could make my daughter some so this is uh this is just printed trunks microfiber original oh um yeah i really like that it's really cute i might make myself and daughter something or i might make a couple of hers if her friends like them i could make them for friends who knows um, I don't have a pattern for that yet, but um, I'm pretty sure I have a basic shorts pattern that I use uh, in one of my lessons with my year eights. They make shorts. I'm sure I could just use that pattern and be fine. We'll see. Anyway, that's something to go on the list. And then remember the challenge nine back in wherever it was, 1952. Um, I was doing my sofa which is still not done but whilst I was in spotlight I was looking at um, furnishings I also look at the furnishing fabric as well because sometimes you can get really good stuff in there and they had the same sale 
and I've, I've found this really nice pattern. I think it's a Jocelyn Prost. There was a lot of Jocelyn Prost in there. I actually have a, this badge I'm wearing here is from a label called Erstwilder and they design in Melbourne, unfortunately made in China, but isn't everything. Um, but these are cute. This is um, in collab, they do collaborations with people. This was in collaboration with a local artist here from Torquay, Australia called Pete Cromer. And this is his um, little kangaroo. Beautiful, beautiful, made from resin and laser cut and glued together. And just a little pin back there. And there's a little Erstwilder, little bird logo that they have. And also, check these earrings out. Look at these. These earrings were made by a 12 year old. I went to one of the local markets yesterday and this 12 year old is killing it. She's making all these resin earrings, necklaces, anything jewelry based she's made. She even did a Barbie range and um, if anybody from Australia is, um, if I get this out before next, sat this sat coming Saturday, which would be the 30th. Um, if you're in Melbourne and you're watching this, get down to the Queen Vic Market. She's gonna have a, they've invited her to do a stand there. She's called uh, Craft Like a Boss. Follow her on Instagram, follow her on Facebook. Her, her designs are amazing. She's only 12. I'll put the link up here. I'll try and get this out before uh, Saturday, so um, it's only Monday right now. Um, before Saturday, so if you're if you're watching this and you're in Mel, you're from Melbourne or you're going to be in Melbourne, Australia, then please go and check her out. And if you can't, please check out her Facebook and Instagram account. Her designs are gorgeous. If you like quirky stuff like this, like I do, um, please check her out. Anyway, that's a little plug from me. Anyway, back to this. So the sofa. So I, and I'll put a bigger picture up because I know I'm a bit squished in with uh, the angle of this camera and everything. You've got my big fat face in there. Do you ever get that bit where your eye waters? My eye, I don't know if it's old age, but my eye is constantly watered today and it's wiped off all my makeup. So anyway, all right. So this one, this is a really nice, heavy duty cotton. It's furnishing cotton, so it's really strong. I'm really bad on the names, you know, I teach textiles and them. I'll actually put a separate little in video here so you can see. And this is via designer Kirsten Katz and it's called um, Silhouette Protea. We will put up a separate little in video um, showing you that. Okay. And that's all I bought. I was, I mean, for fabric wise. So my daughter needs some new curtains. So I just got these cute little uh, raindrop curtains. They were $30 for a pair, uh, 90 centimeters by 223 centimeter drop. So I will have to shorten them, but they should just fit her window. So she's, she's had Peppa Pig curtains up that I made like, oh, how long have I been in our house? um six years she's had pepper pig put curtains up for six years and she's nine now so i think she's out even though she still likes them we we need to move her on a bit from pepper i said she's really into the tropical stuff at the moment so she needs a new, new duvet duna whatever you call them where you are cover so i got these really nice palm trees she's obsessed with palm trees at the minute again thirty dollars for um one quilt cover and uh, two pillowcases and she has a single bed but she has a double duvet so perfect okay, that's all from me um this is a quick one this time <laughs> um i'll put all the christmas stuff on at the end and yeah you can get all festive but i'm not ready yet <laughs> but i thought i'd do it for you guys anyway quick little chat I hope you've all had time to sew. I haven't done anything yet, but it is Monday of my second week, so there's still time. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>